Luigi. Hot girls love Naomi. Okay, so I just woke up uh, probably like 30 minutes ago. It's 10.09? What? No, because I literally, I thought it was like 8 when I woke up. Okay, I'm going to ignore that. Um, so yeah, I woke up and I'm going to take a shower and then blow dry my hair and then put the hair into my heatless curls, I think. Because I literally took a shower on Wednesday, but my hair feels so greasy already. So, yeah, I'm going to take a shower. And my throat hurts so bad. I literally woke up and I felt like I was suffocating because I can barely breathe like through my mouth since my throat feels like this. And so when I breathe through my nose, like that's better. But my nose was clogged. So I was just suffocating. But it's fine, whatever. Level one. Gosh, that time, time went by really quickly. <laughs> um, but I showered, blow dried my hair, and then decided that I do not want to put my hair in the little curler thingies. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair for the concert tonight, but we'll figure it out. Um, my throat hurts so bad, and I am actually going to die from the concert tonight, I think. Like, I think I'm just going to, like, disappear. Go away. Um... <laughs> I don't know if my older sister's been in many of my videos, but hopefully she'll be in this one a lot because I'm literally going to the concert with her, so... <laughs> um, and then my dad's driving us because it's in Tampa, so it's like an hour away. And Emma won't drive. Emma's my older sister. But yeah, she won't drive. I did drive yesterday, though, for the first time ever in a parking lot. That was so scary. I literally felt like I was going to puke the entire time. But I didn't. And I, I feel like I did pretty well, but I only put, like, it was in a parking lot, so I didn't really have to hit the gas that often. Because, like, if you just take your foot off of the brake, it the car goes pretty fast. And so I didn't, I only used the gas, like, twice, I think. And it was actually so terrifying. I feel like I did well, though. But, like, my thing is, I feel like I'm always too close to the curb, so I'm, like, in, like, the middle of the lane. I have to fix that. Anyways, I need to go. Honestly, this video is probably the worst thing I can be doing right now because it hurts so bad to talk. Okay, so my dilemma is this. <sighs> Niall Horn has a ton of merch, right? And so I've only been to like, this, this will be my fourth concert in my entire life. And the only concert that I've been like, really like there enough to remember it was the Aeros Tour and obviously I was getting merch at the Aeros Tour and it's actually really easy to get merch at the Aeros Tour. Anyways, um, and so obviously I knew I was going to get merch there and the fact that Niall Horan's merch is more expensive than Taylor Swift, like are we being for real right now? Because I love Niall, don't get me wrong, but he is nowhere near as popular as Taylor Swift. And some of y'all can come from here for that, but it's literally just a fact. And so the fact that his hoodies are a hundred dollars and Taylor's was seventy-five. I mean, seventy-five is still a little bit ridiculous for a hoodie, but a hundred dollars for a freaking hoodie is insane. I don't know, I like, cause here's the thing: I really want a piece of merch, and I really, really, really want this one hoodie, and it's literally a hundred dollars. And I don't, I can't, I can't spend that money. <laughs> and then there's like a shirt that I don't like as much, but it's only $50. So I'm like, do I just get that? And then I just, I, I gotta see what it's like when I get there. I can't. I don't know. I might just not get anything, but like, I really want to get something. And also he has like merch that says like, this show is for lovers. But like, instead of this show, I think it says like, the place you're in. And so while he was in London, it was like, London is for lovers, and that was so adorable. But we're in Tampa, so it's going to be like, what, Tampa is for lovers, or Florida is for lovers? Ugh, so I'm probably not going to get that one. Okie dokie, y'all. So it is almost 2, it's 1.45 at the moment, and I'm going to start getting ready because I think we're leaving at 4. Because the concert starts at, like, the concert starts at 7.30, and I think doors open, I don't know when doors open, if I'm being completely honest, if they do end up opening at 7.30 and we get there at 6, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. 
Anyways, um, yeah, we're trying to get there at 6, but, like, it is, like, rush hour traffic on a Friday. So we might end up getting there at, like, 6.30, 6.45, which honestly is fine because we don't really, like, we have assigned seats, and we're not, like, super set on getting merch. Oh my gosh, there's, like, birds making noises outside. I, I got scared for a second. <laughs> I thought that was in my room. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what time we're getting there as long as it's before the actual concert starts. And I have no idea who's opening for him. Y'all, I literally, like, bought the tickets, <laughs> and then that's it. That's, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair. And I still haven't showed y'all my outfit. Okay, I gotta figure some things out, anyways. And then I'm, I've been watching YouTube. I was watching Sarah... I actually don't know what her name is, but, like, the booktuber that... Her name is Sarah. I was watching her newest video, and then I finished that, and then I was watching Haley Pham's latest video, and so that was fun. I usually get recommendations, but I didn't get any recommendations from those videos because they were both reading, like, romance adult books, and I read young adult books, so, like, you win some, you lose some. <sighs> I need to figure out things, and I don't know what to do. Okay, so I still have yet to get ready. Um, I just made a bunch of, well, not a bunch of, I literally made two TikToks. And it's, what time is that? 2.30? Oh, the backlit is crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, adjust? Okay. Um, yeah, I literally made two transitions, like the beginning of them. And I'm so bad at transitions, like it's actually awful. But I get so nervous when I make TikToks with other people so I don't want to ask my sister. Okay, I'm gonna go actually get ready this time. Peace out. I might not record because this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Anyways, I've been doing my makeup. So yeah, that's fun. And I'm watching Brad Mondo and that's it. Or not Brad Mondo, Brad Evans. There's so many Brads on the freaking YouTube. Okay, um, I love him. He's really funny. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put mascara and then glitter on my eyeballs. I like glitter. And then I might spray glitter on my outfit, but I don't know yet. Because I actually don't know where the glitter is, because we got it for the Aeros tour. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. It's, what time is it? 3.30, so I leave in 30 minutes. And I'm ready! Okay, I forgot, to, like, I need to actually show you my outfit. This camera actually gets my whole body. Perfect. And then I'm wearing my docks. I have white docks on. And then I might end up taking my bracelets off, just because. But... Yeah, this is my outfit. And I have glitter on my eyes. Can you see that? So, yeah. Um, I have a blister on my foot at the moment from walking around all day in heels for my sister's graduation. And it really hurts right now. My throat's feeling a little bit better, but I'm expecting that to go away by tonight after I scream my heart out for Niall. So, yeah. Um, that's basically it. I am watching Daniel Bierski, the cheer guy. I don't know how to say his name. Let me see. Yeah, him. So, I literally have no idea how to say his last name, but he's so funny. And I love Delaney, and this is what, like, Delaney's in the video, so. That's why I'm watching it. And then my ankle brace is right there. Did y'all see that? I was literally wearing this just now because my ankle hurts so bad. I hurt it at camp, and it still hasn't gotten better because I hurt my ankle literally every other day. I'm going to go now. I have to make my TikToks. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, I already showed you all my outfit, but I forgot to show you all Emma's outfit, so I'm going to go find her. I did make my transitions, though, so that was fun.
the family. Hot girls love men. Hi guys, so it's literally a week after the concert, like it's Saturday right now, and not Saturday after the concert, like the Saturday the week after the concert. The concert was so fun, oh my gosh, like literally it was actually like the best, not the best, okay, I don't know, because I don't want to like say it was better than Taylor because like I'm just like so in the moment of it right now, like if I was at Taylor, I don't I'd be like, that was the best concert, you know? So, it was a really, really, really good concert, though. Like, Niall is so involved with the whole audience and stuff, so it felt, like, really intimate. And I've never been to a concert like that because, well, I've only been to four concerts, and I really only remember, like, the whole thing of Taylor's before he even comes out. He has this whole playlist for the beginning of the show, and every time his song ended, I figured he would come out, and he didn't. <sighs> so Niall, I need you to fix that, buddy. If you're going to the Niall concert, I'm gonna warn you on the merch. The merch line was super easy, super fast, and the merch is so cute, but... <laughs> it's, it's very expensive. Like, so I was... I was looking... I knew how much the merch was gonna be beforehand because I did like my research and stuff. I wanted his website and stuff. And so I saw this hoodie that I really, really, really wanted and it was a hundred dollars. Uh, the crew neck, I think y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It's like the blue crew neck with like the not, like the NH right here and then on the back it has stuff and like the patches and stuff. And it was so cute. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that one. I was prepared to spend a hundred dollars and then we got there I was like, I do not want to spend a hundred dollars. Like I'm gonna be sick if I spend a hundred dollars. And so my sister wanted the same hoodie and she was like, um, and so I was like, there's a bug. Hang on. It's making me insane. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> and so I, I looked to my sister, I was like, what if we just split it, and then we can like split the hoodie, so it's like 50-50. And she was like, okay, sounds good. And then she was like, okay, so we're getting the hoodie, and we're both going to get separate shirts, right? I was like, oh, because the shirts are $50 each. And I was like, oh, no, because that's still $100, and I didn't want to pay $100. So I was like, do you want the hoodie or the shirt more? And she was like, the shirts. And so I got, hang on. I got the Lovers Club shirt, which is absolutely adorable. I love this shirt so much. It has a little heart on the back. It's so cute. But y'all, guess what? I come, I come home, and I didn't have any plans for the next day, but my older sister did. And mind you, she bought a shirt too. And she looks at me and she goes, can I wear your shirt from Niall tomorrow? I was like, are you, are you serious? And she was like, yeah. I was like, fine. Because... First of all, I hadn't worn the shirt yet, so she wore my shirt first. Second of all, anytime Emma wears white, she gets something on it. Every single time. And so I let, before I let her do it, I was like, are you going out to eat in it? And she was like, no, we're not eating. I was like, okay, fine. Because I don't know how she does it, but she wore one of my white shirts. I don't know which one it was. My white sweater. She wore it to New York, and it comes back with makeup on it. Girl... And so I was so scared. I was like, if that shirt comes back with one spot on it, you will be paying me back. And she was like, okay, fine. But what I didn't understand is that she had her own shirt. Uh, um, anyways, I'm not going to get too caught up in that. But yeah, the sh the, most of the hoodies, so there's two hoodies that are 100, one hoodie that's 90, and then a couple of them are 80. And I don't know how they decide the different pricings, but whatever and then there's a tote bag that's 60 which is ridiculous and a French bracelet that's 15 so merch there is very expensive just be warned um and then during the show our seats were like okay for the venue they were like nosebleeds but if you think about it in relation to anything else they were really good seats but it was amazing, and I loved it so much, and literally, oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all, I want to go back so bad. Oh my gosh, if you're debating whether or not to go to Nile, just go. Just go. I had such a fun time, y'all. I literally, I want to go back so bad. I actually have the biggest post-concert depression, and it's been a week. So anyways, please go to see Nile, because that was amazing. Um, that's the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and then go follow my socials. I have TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And I post three times a day on all of those platforms. So, yeah. Have the very best day.